guys welcome back to my channel so today I create for you this eye look right here I don't film putting on lashes mascara and eyeliner because I am testing out the EYN bright matte palette by Beauty Bay and that is the only thing that I use on this video so if you guys would like to see how I created this look and what I feel about this palette Stay tuned and it's about to follow. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And bye for now. Yeah. So I come to you with the EYN Bright Mattes Palette. I bought this during the Beauty Bay 30% off sale. So they have like a sale going on for the whole week before Black Friday. I also bought my Be Perfect one throughout that week but from the Be Perfect site and I also bought BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil so today I will be trying out my EYN Bright Mattes palette I have swatched a few and this is what it looks like and this is a very hard um, palette it is made out of cardboard but it is very very durable stiff i just love how this is made it has like a velvety kind of touch like those packaging on the nars lids that's the kind of um feel it has and this is holographic um plastic probably i don't know cardboard cardboard um yeah I love it and it's so durable and I have swatched them they are very 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 pigmented comes with a very big mirror so these are the colors here let me just quickly pick some up on my finger and show you guys what they look like so let's pick up that blue and this red and maybe this pink right here so look at the pigmentation on that let me just quickly swatch it on my hand so oh, that was wrong this is what the pigmentation is like i love it already applied my base the p louise rumor 2 base i'm just gonna go in i don't know what kind of look I want to do because every single one of these colours are screaming out to me. I mean, they're like very unique on the in their own kind of way. You will find them in other palettes, but I've never seen it, seen all of these in a colourful palette. It's usually in different palettes. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know what look to do. I want to do something using this purple right here. So I'm just going to take a brush and press that on and I'm going to just go with the flow and I'm going to pick it up on um, Morphe M546 brush, pick up Drama Queen which is the deepest purple and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. Um, the payoff is good, but it's not as pigmented as it came off on my finger. Green right here, which is called Sea Mist. So I'm going to pick it up on the Morphe M507 brush, Sea Mist. And I'm going to apply it around this shade right here. Blending all the edges out. And I'm going to pick up the purple again. Drama Queen. This is what it's looking like right now. Yeah, I'm going to get an M506 and I'm going to go in with... Which colour do I want? I'm going to go in with this pink right here, make them mink right here and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of the crease. So 
now I'm taking a Morphe M514 brush and I'm going to pick up yellow right here which is called Hello Sunshine. I'm going to press that as a transition in the inner corner. And I'm going to bring it up to the brow going. So, blend it in with the green and bring it up to the brow bone. To the brow. Going to the Carnival XO Pro palette and I'm going to get this Fair Play highlight right here on a pencil brush. Put that into the inner corner here. Now I'm going to um, get some P. Louise base onto my concealer brush. I'm going to cut the crease. It's going to be a very low crease because I want the purple and the pink to stand out. So I'm going to pick up the purple again which is Drama Queen. So it's the purple that I put on the outside here. I'm just going to smudge that in a bit more. And then tap it with my finger to blend it out a bit more. Going with slice of lime, which is this lime green right here, and I'm going to place that onto the lid. So I'm going to be using a blank canvas E24. Picking up the M507 that I used for the sea mist green, and I'm not picking up any color, I'm just blending out the edges. So, I'm going to do the rest of my face and the rest of this eye, and I'll come back to you. So, I've done my base makeup, so I'm going to go in with the lower lash line. So, I'm using the same purple as I used from the outer V with the same brush. Now I'm going to pick up Sea Mist with the same brush as well, same brush as the one I used before for it. And then go in. So I'm going to tight line, put on mascara and a bit of eyeliner and I'll come back to you guys. So guys, this is the finished look. Um, I give this palette an 8 out of 10. Pigmentation is there but it does wear off when you blend it. Which happens with majority of the palettes but once you use some other palettes that are better, um, yeah, you get what I mean. But um, the pickup was great, the swatches were great, the laying down was okay, and the blending was okay. So um, overall I would give it an 8 out of 10 because the pigmentation is there, the blendability is there, but it's not so highly pigmented and blendable. So yeah guys, this is the Beauty Bay EYN Bright Mattes Palette. I definitely will be using this palette more and I definitely will recommend this palette because it is a great beginner palette for only £23. Well, I paid 16 on Black Friday sale, but it's only £23 and if you're a starter, it's a great palette to start off with. Um, it will challenge your blending skills and I think something challenging is better than something easy for a beginner because you get used to working with the shadows but anyway guys this is the final look i will be doing more looks with this palette just leave me comments below of what you guys would like to see and how you felt this palette performed from what you saw on the video with that being said bye for now guys